Well, hello, friends. Today we're looking at Matthew chapters 5 through 7. Now, in Matthew's writings, remember we told you yesterday it was met primarily to Jewish Christians, and his writings is built on five pillars or teaching blocks. And each of these blocks end with a saying similar to, and when Jesus had finished these sayings, now, the first is our reading today, and that is the Sermon on the Mount. Now, some have considered the Sermon on the Mount the New Testament version of the Old Testament law. There's a lot of information in there of how we should live. And I want to just encourage you to read this and apply these uh, chapters to your life. But I want to focus on one particular verse in chapter number seven. Now, all through this series or through our Bible reading this year, there's many things we could talk about. And I've just chosen one small thing each day. And the same is the case with Matthew chapter 5 through 7. Uh, but I want to look at verse number, uh, chapter 7, verse number 12. And it's what we call, and what you've probably heard, the golden rule. So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. So in other words, if you want people to love you, then you should love them. You should be kind to other people like you want them to be kind to you. You should treat other people like you want to be treated. And this isn't always easy. In fact, in that same section, in beginning in verse 13 uh, of chapter 7, this, this Lord talks about two gates and one is wide and a lot of people are on it. And one is narrow and there's only a few that are traveling down the narrow path. And that narrow path, of course, is the one that leads to eternal life. But the important thing to understand is he says that the narrow path is, is not an easy path. It's a hard, uh, hard path to go, uh, this gate with a narrow way. And so it's hard uh, at times to do unto others like you want them to do unto you. Most of the time, our natural self is to do to others like they do to us. And if they're unkind to us, we want to be unkind to them. But that's not the way the Lord teaches. We are to treat other people uh, as we want to be treated. So I want to encourage you, friends, Make this your goal. Make it your prayer. We have to have the help of the Holy Spirit. And it's only as we do this that we can find ourselves on that straight and narrow path. Well, God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.